Welcome to Shipping Solutions Export Documentation and Compliance Software. The Shipping Solutions Electronic Certificate of Origin portal provides an easy way for exporters to receive a certificate of origin certified by the American World Trade Chamber of Commerce, whose seal is registered with customs authorities worldwide. To get started, register for the portal on the Shipping Solutions website. In about a day, you will receive an email with your username and password for the portal. Whenever you have an export shipment that requires a certificate of origin verified by a Chamber of Commerce, first create a commercial invoice using Shipping Solutions export documentation software or another method. The commercial invoice must display the country of origin for each line item. Save the document as a PDF. Then, log in to the Electronic Certificate of Origin portal. In the Apply for drop-down box, choose Certificate of Origin and click Apply. Click the green Select Invoices button and locate and attach the commercial invoice that you created earlier. To the right of the Select Invoices button, you can enter the invoice number and the invoice amount. Scroll down to the red Certificate number and enter the information for your certificate. If you entered an invoice number, it will be copied to this box, but you can add or edit the information here. In box one, enter your exporter information. Click the arrow in the drop-down box and click Add New. Fill in your exporter information in the box and click Submit. The next time you do an application, your exporter information will be available in the drop-down box. But I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to pick one that is already here. In box two, enter the consignee, which is your customer. As with box one, you can click Add New and add your customer information so it will appear in the drop-down list. You can save as many customers as you like. I am going to pick one that is already here. In box three, select the countries of origin for your items from the list of countries. I'm going to pick the United States, but if you have more than one country of origin, you can hold down the control key and select multiple countries. Box 4 is optional. If you like, select the transport type from the drop-down list and you can add details in the freeform box if you'd like. In box 5, enter your commercial invoice number and any other information you want to include in the remarks box. Box 6 is where you will list the items that you are certifying. You can type directly in box 6 or you can store your items in the repetitive text database so that you can select them from the drop-down list. So I'm going to choose these three items and they should match the commercial invoice that I uploaded earlier. I can go into the box and I can format it the way I want it to look. In box 7 I enter the weight. Um, you can type directly in this box or you can use this little weight tool and enter your weight in this box. After all the boxes are filled in, scroll back to the top of the screen and click Save. In addition to the Certificate of Origin, you can get other documents certified by the Chamber of Commerce. If you want the invoice that you uploaded previously to be certified, check this box. You can also upload additional documents and check the Certify box to indicate that you want them certified as well. There is a separate fee for each document you want certified. Click Client Copy to see what your certificate will look like. When all the information is complete, I'll close this and I'll click Submit. So you have two options. Click this option if you want to have the Chamber print your certificate, hand stamp and sign it, and return it to you by courier. Courier fees will be added to the certification fee. Click this option if you want to print the certificate yourself on a color printer. The certificate will include a digitally imaged chamber seal and signature printed on your certificate over a security background. The first time you submit an, e uh, an electronic certificate of origin application, you will be asked to enter your credit card information. You can request that the credit card be saved for future submissions. So I am going to click the do-it-yourself option. We are now back on the active application screen and you can see the message that the application was submitted and received for processing by the American World Trade Chamber of Commerce. My application appears at the top of the list and it is now no longer a draft but it, the status is at chamber. 
After the Chamber has reviewed your application, you will receive an email saying that your application has been either approved or rejected. If your application is rejected, the email will include details of what changes are needed. Log back into the portal, find your application on the dashboard, and click Edit to make changes and resubmit your application. If your application was approved, you'll find your approved application on the dashboard, and then you will click Issue. And I have one here that is approved, so I'll click Issue. And um, the message says that I must print this document on plain white paper and on a color printer. And if I'm ready, I can click OK. And I need to be ready because I only get one chance to print the certificate. So I'm going to click OK. And now I see my actual certificate with the seal. And then there's a client copy that follows it. And there's a message at the top that says, print now, you cannot return to this screen. So I need to print this certificate right now in order to have it to send to my customer. So now I've printed my certificate, I can close this. And I get one more message that says, are you sure you want to close? And I'll say, okay. And now my application is no longer listed on this active application screen, but I can click the archive button at the top of the screen to look at a client copy of it again. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, we'd appreciate it if you'd like it and share it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos sharing real practical advice for exporters and importers. You'll also find hundreds of articles about every aspect of exporting at shippingsolutions.com slash blog. Check below for a link.